Well, hello, hello, everybody. Money back. Delivering that fuel. Money plays games. And uh, we've decided it's Vanilla Hills is the name. And uh, that's what we're doing here. Vanilla Nomads. Episode 2, everybody. And uh, something I wanted to bring off right off the bat was, uh, you know, I'm still finding uh, that folks don't all know that you can drop off freight at passenger stations. I've always talked about the bus stations, but I don't talk much about the train side of things where, uh, remember our fuel to crude line that we had set up? Well, I added a whole brand new line that's bringing the fuel to Portland. And it's got a nice little uh, roundabout here. We'll hear it go through the curves. Oh yeah. Got our Atlantic locomotive cruising on through. This was actually its first stop, so let's make sure it actually worked. It should have delivered about uh, six, which I know it did. Um, and then we're also bringing in the uh, construction materials, but those uh, that fire got used up real quick. So we're going to keep on checking on this guy right here. We should be seeing uh, fuel here, which is actually I'm going to call uh, fuel... Portland. See, we know we've got 14 waiting, so that's working out nice. Plus, I'm also working on the no uh, magical flip arounds. I mean, trains if they get a if they get a can only go forward, then uh, I'm going to build the tracks out for it. We will have some tracks and trains that can uh, do a little flipperoo in the future, but not right now. So basically, what we did was I doubled out the bridge, and we had this extend out. Uh, in these two uh, directions now. So fuel will break off. And then we're going to have... Uh, right now, unfortunately, we have two trains on the crude line. And uh, I could... I need to make them a little bit longer. But these guys are also just running that Atlantic uh, locomotive. We do have now uh, the Mikado... What is it? We do have a new train available. Train locomotive. Yep, the Mikado 282. Uh, definitely more expensive on that front. So what I'm thinking to do to fix this up is I'm going to have to double track uh, this whole line. And I think I want to add even a third uh, a third train on the, uh, the crude uh, fuel line. Because this is now supplying uh, Akron. It's supplying Portland. It's supplying Rancho Cucamongo by truck. And also by truck, it's supplying San Antonio. So, did a little expanded uh, expansion here. Added out two lines to the truck, uh, to the track station here. So things are going well. How about you folks? You guys doing well? I know uh, quite a few folks on uh, Transport Fever Nation side are making videos and showing screenshots and stuff like that. That's on Facebook if you guys care to uh, come check the group out. I'm an admin over there. So, uh, pretty active over on that channel. Channel of communication for transport fever addicts, because that's what we all are. Let's admit it right now. Hello, my name's Monty, and I have a train problem. Oh, yeah. And I don't care. All right, so this is uh, it's going all right. Trucks are moving on, moving on. So what do we want to do? We've got this whole map... Uh, I want to connect Fort Worth via Portland with this uh, fuel line because eventually I want this fuel to continue on. And uh, the nice thing is, is since the fuel line is dropping off at uh, the industrial area, we could also add some passenger cars on here if we ever had a transition. Now, one thing we couldn't do is bring fuel to here and then have another train coming to pick it up and take it to Fort Worth. That will not work with the passenger station. Uh, so that's what you got to realize. Passenger stations, like the bus stop, drop off only. Which is odd that you can't use, for example, a bus terminal to drop off freight. I've tried, it just didn't work out well. Uh, it just didn't even allow it. So anyway, did some building out. Hope, hopefully, I'll, we'll be able to get some industrial growth over here. But it's only 1919. We're just now starting to supply the goods. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 work on this a little bit, shall we? How do we want to do this? 
I think we want to go straight. But the question is, is do we want to... Oh, the problem is, is how we're going uphill. I don't know if I really want to tunnel this. But it's most definitely something we could pull off here. You know what? I think I do want to do this. Let's, let's see what we can get going. Nice. Now, if I bring this up one, two, just one. All right. I'm going to shorten it up. I'm going to bring it right to, right past the track. Because I really don't want this going down. Right now, it's just going straight, which is fine. But since we're going uphill, I really want... Uh, us to get back up here. We might even have to do a little bit of a, oh, see, this got real rough. We got way in the ground, underground here. That's not what I want. This is, I think this is going to work. You know what? It's more expensive, but sometimes you just got to spend that money. We got that fuel money coming on in. And this is going to be extending that line out. Man. The, the rough thing in my mind is that it's going to be carrying fuel this way, and that's a that's quite the hill I'm having it go up here. But it looks like it's what's going to happen anyway. Let's, let's find and track our industrial site. Oh my goodness, it's on the hill. This is going to be a rough place to put down a station. Let's see what we can do here. Now the question is, do we want to go ahead and stick with the passenger stations? I think so. See, unable to align the terrain. Oops. Hit that B button. I always do that. Go to that N and M to do the uh, station movement. Oh, or do we want to go... Nope, I think we're going to try to get up here. Maybe right about here. And then drop this straight down. Wow, that's an expensive building to remove. But we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm happy to see that Fort Worth already has this connection here. And that is because we're bringing the construction materials. So now we're gonna be bringing the fuel in as well. So these, these guys are all gonna be uh, set up quite nicely. So what I'm thinking is how do we wanna bring this over to here? To, uh, here. Like if I was just to go like that, 2.5 million, it's going to swing out, it's going to go under, and do that. So I don't want to do that. I want to hug the mountain here. Let's hug it at a nice 120, and let's not... Let's try to go s flat here. Come on, guys. Uh, we can go up one. We can go up, up one. All right, because what I want to do is we're definitely going to tunnel through this. And what I want to do is bring it through here to here. Oh, that's nice. All right, under one million, I'll take that. And then here we're going to do a nice little back and forth. This is going to be quite the turn, but you come out, come out of the tunnel, slow your roll a bit. Actually, we're going to, we're going to start this turn earlier, like this. Oh, much better. And we need to start dropping back down. Where's my contours? Show me my lines, everybody. Show me my lines. What would this do with an auto connect? With an auto connect... Um, if it doesn't do any tunnel, I might let this happen. And then just do some smoothing. Yep. It's all good. Jamming out on the guitar, on the music right there. Sometimes you just gotta jam out while you build these curves. Ooh, we got a Junker F-13 available. That means we can start bringing in some airport stuff. Okay, so Monty Acres haven't brought it back yet. Calm down, everybody. It is on the way. The very first episode I bring back is going to be uh, 
using that mod for freight uh, on the airlines. So that's going to be pretty, pretty cool if I do say so myself. All this tunneling just to avoid interrupting that line. What I do for you, Portland Akron. Akron, Akron. Whoops, acorn. Uh, yeah, let's let's have this go straight all the way through here, and we'll double up later if we have to. Because what I need to do here is have this flip this way. Let's see. Because now the train's not going to flip around. It's going to go here. It's going to stop. It's going to keep going. It's going to stop, and it's going to come back. Flip over here. Hmm. All right. I like it. I like it. Where are you, though? Dang, you already picked up fuel. I'm thinking how I want to do this. Okay, so after he picks up fuel here... Not picks up. See, now he's just running back to town. Uh, this is what I did over here. It's kind of nice. Both sides. Uh, I don't need to see that. Come into the stations in their relative... Uh, Line 1 or Line 3 platform, and then they both exit on the Line 2. No one actually stops on the Line 2 platform, it's just a nice little center pass there. So, that's what's happening there as you stare into the fog. It's not fog. You know what I mean. But oh man, this cold is kicking me. You can hear my sinuses uh, struggling. But I just can't not record. I took vacation to catch up, record some videos. It was going to be a good YouTube weekend, and it was relaxing. I'm not going to lie. But I got all of nothing done as far as what I wanted to. So that's the story of, of that. But glad to be back. Glad to be recording what I can, when I can. Uh, but it's going to be back to the work struggles starting tomorrow. I'm happy to at least get one video out, but boy, am I hurting. Uh, these are those day colds that they say, oh yeah, whatever, you'll be good in a day. Well, I was out for a day, but it's like a week now, and I'm just struggling. Okay, so, enough to it. I'm not going to have you guys see me build out the double track on the uh, the crude. I'm going to save that for in between. Let's get rid of these contours. And, uh, yeah, once the train gets here, as soon as he unloads the fuel, I'm going to send him to the depot add more trains. I'm honestly, I'm going to upgrade them. I'm going to change them out to a 282 Mikado. How about that? Uh, because it's going to give us a lot more power. And he's going to be hauling fuel to Portland and Fort Worth. Because look at the demand. That's going to be 85 there. And 114 here. Look at that. There's that fuel showing up in Portland. 37 of it. And we have more getting dropped off right about now. At the passenger station, folks. At the passenger station. So how cool is that? Portland doesn't believe in cargo stations, but that's not going to stop us from bringing off the goods. So we just had the delivery. Now if we let some time go by, we should see the increase in the uh, supply in Portland. So let's speed up time. 37. The train goes round and round, and I forgot to do what I wanted to do. No, you turn around. You turn around. 39. It's slowly going up. And yes, I had it do a magical turnaround, but that's fine because I need it to go to the depot and I need it to turn around right now. It's okay. It's okay. And while it heads back to the depot, we're going to hit on line one. Fuel to Portland. Plus. Plus. Fort Worth. Boom. Look at that. And let's make it official. We're going to remove that. We're going to add Fort Worth. Uh, and then, train's still going. Train's still going. I'm going to bring up the depot so I see it when it arrives. We need to fix up the track here so it can loop around properly. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little something this way to avoid going... Any tunnel work here? Uh, let's see, something nice like that. 
Nope, 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 nope. You're doing something crazy. Let's go over here. Let's go. Really, a bridge. You guys want to build a bridge. You know what? We'll do a nice stone... Stone escape. Looks good. Help him on his way out. Nope, nope, nope. Let's start from this way. You guys... Enjoy watching me struggle building track, don't you? Alright, this is going to connect right here. That's going to connect right there. Then all we got to do is put in a nav point. The train is here. Pause it. Uh, let's get rid of you. We got 38 million. I should have checked that first. By train. This guy's going to give us the extra speed. Oh, no. He's going to slow us down. That's okay. I'd rather have him go slow. And if I was to buy you... Okay, I don't know. Oh, he was there. All right, he showed up. I'm losing it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check his train six. It was all right in front of me. Let's check his details. Power rating is mediocre. I don't want to make it worse than that. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more tank cars on here. Now, remember, we know we got to haul quite a bit on this guy. So I'm going to say let's haul... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Solid ten. That's a pretty big train there. And he's going to uh, go back to where it all began. Loving it. Good. We got a new line going. We're going to hit that play button. Have him come on back out. And that's going to expand our demand on... This is where we're going to struggle, just like we are in Monty Hakers. Is my, uh, my fuel refinery, oil refinery, is actually maxed out. But you're going to see this potential go from 421 all the way up. Just one too many, in my opinion. But it's going to go way up. It's going to go nicely. We're going to have a bigger train, a faster train, and let's take a look at them, because we have not had a look yet on the series of the Mikado. We're going to get a little look, and then he's going to get interrupted here by his buddy, but that's okay. Making an appearance. I get it. I get it. Trying to have a little Mikado experience here, and uh, passengers got to get in the way. So we'll do a nice little cruise up here. But I'm going to keep on keeping on with uh, this series here. That's a terrible uh, spot right there on that road I'm going to have to fix. Not happy about this hill here, but it is kind of just, it is what it is. Yeah, go get you some. Get you some nice fuel. We're going to keep on going there. You know, we have really good money. I might do something crazy. And uh, what do you guys think next episode about going ahead and adding in like some airports and stuff, like uh, Madison and stuff down here. What are you guys' thoughts? You think so? You think so? I think so much that uh, uh, I, I might just do this. I might just do this now. That's going in right there. Yep, this is happening. We're building airports now, not later. Madison, where, where, where are we connecting you? Let's just check on this. Industrial and slightly commercial area. So I'm going to add an airport somewhere else, and I'm going to say Manchester's looking nice, Corpus Christi somewhere far. One of my goals on this map is to get the speed bullet achievement. Uh, that's another reason why I did the longer map. Ooh, is that the residential stuff back here? Yeah, it is. Let's do an air airstrip here. I like it facing the other way, but I don't like him flying off the map. Let's delete. Nah, let's keep that. I'm going to shift N to get a precision turn here. We're going to have it just hook up right there. I'm going to have to do some bus stops, of course, and things like that. But let's just get an aircraft going since we, we earned the Junker F-13 this episode. We're going to do it right now. We're going to set line, new line. You go from here. You're going to go out to uh, Madison. 
little Madison. Drove through Madison, Wisconsin about a year ago. Real nice place. Set line. Line one. Don't you worry, you'll get a name. Someday. Someday. But how are you guys doing on the challenges and the campaign? You guys going back? I personally am excited. I know the campaign's not everyone's bag of tea. But I'm excited that Transport Fever 2 is going to be coming out with, what they say, like 30 campaign missions, which to me sounds like 10 each. Asia, America, Europe. I always like their twists. They kind of throw some historical stuff going on in there. They don't just go, uh, you know, build it and make it easy. You know, you got you to gotta play it a little different. I'm enjoying it. And uh, unfortunately, guys, I've, I've, we got a good, a good chunk of stuff done today. I think we've, we've got a good investment. I'm gonna go watch that airplane. But my head is crushing me right now, so I'm gonna have to kind of call this one a little short. I can feel myself struggling, breathing through my mouth. I'm sure it's getting more and more nasally as we go. But that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it just is what it is. 10 plus list. Here's what's coming your way. Project Hospital. That one is uh, coming on back. You guys uh, enjoyed the first two episodes of that. So I'm going to be continuing on my clinic. The Bard's Tale. Feel bad I only played one episode of that. Really enjoy the game. On my own, I went and played quite a bit more. Uh, but uh, Bard's Tale 4, that is. I'm going to go back into that one. Ostriv and Dawn of Man. You guys know that both of those are coming your way. Uh, Salig. Recorded in an episode, the audio got screwed up. I was really disappointed. Um, a new episode's coming your way. Here's a hint. Twins. It's going to be crazy. Um, Transport Fever Vanilla Hills. Oh, that's what we're playing right now. Uh, Money Acres is on there. You guys were wondering, where did Money Acres go? Just so you guys know, where was the feedback, guys? It was only at, uh, like, five likes. So anyway, it came back. came back strong. We're bringing back Money Hills. Anno 2205. I know I'm going to be bringing you guys some Anno 1800 when I finally get my hands on that game. And uh, 2205 isn't everyone's favorite, but it's a beautiful looking game. And I'm going to continue sharing that one off because it uh, it, it's kind of fun to go back to every once in a while. Maybe thinking about some lunar landscapes there. Uh, Sim Airport, while we're flying around in our junkard, let's talk about that guy. I showed you when the uh, Multiflores expansion came out, but they've been continuing on with the development of Sim Airport. I'm really excited to bring uh, some of that one back. Uh, Really, the UI is all new. The, the people are all looking different. It's got a really nice, cleaner look going on with it. Another brick in the mall. Remember that one? Probably don't. I only recorded one episode of it, but it did pretty well, and I'm going to bring it back. And the episode, the series that I'm almost recorded today instead of this one, that I'm really excited to be bringing you guys. City Skylines. That's right. Why? Why is it they're not more on the channel? I don't know. Probably that 22-hour marathon I did the day it came out that might have burnt me out but we're going to be heading back to Montezuma the series is there it exists and uh, I've got all kinds of new stuff green cities I've got uh, industries industries the zoo I don't have the new campus life that's the only thing I'm waiting on there's our nice oil line so this is going well I'm going to go ahead and exit on out See if we've got anyone waiting. No, we don't. Anyone waiting over here? No, we don't. It's a brand new line. It's going to be our money pit, probably, the airport. But I'm going to add some buses, let people transport in that town. I'm going to double track the uh, crude line, because that's a crude, crude problem right now. Uh, and then maybe add another train. Oh, I did do something that I didn't show off at all this episode, because it's not all that interesting. I did extend our line to St. Louis. Nothing special, as you can see right here. Same old, same old. The reason why I didn't really want to show it off is because it does the magical flip, because it goes into one of these straight stations here. Beautiful stone bridge. Always like using those. So eventually, as soon as we can, I'm going to either put another engine on the back end of it, which I'm not sure if we can do that with any of the earlier trains, uh, or we'll get kind of more of like a tram type train system here. And then we're just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, we're going to move all the way out onto uh, Arlington. Don't even have, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, look at that. Don't even have a train out here yet. Things that I had planned to do this episode that I'm just going to have to get to some other time. And Gilbert's ready. So instead of doing passenger expansion, we just didn't have time. And uh, we'll get to it. And hopefully, sorry guys again about my... Uh, 
my head. It's just how it sounds. So uh, next time, hopefully, we'll we'll be having a little bit of a more of an enjoyable, healthy time throughout the whole episode. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying some more Vanilla Hills, squiggly roads all the way. Um, you guys have a great one. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, look forward to uh, your comments and seeing you guys in the next episode. Oh, you guys. Oh, stay healthy. That's all I got to say. Take care, everybody. Have a great one. <laughs>